Hi, in this video, we're going to look at the hard preference of Node Affinity. So this option is required during scheduling, ignored during execution. We are going to make use of this option to show how we can specify hard requirements inside a pod to, to go with a particular node. So inside this, we have got a few options which we can look by clicking on this. So we have got uh, all these options inside this. So it has got something called as a node selected terms array. And let's see what this array has got. We have the match expressions, which is used for label selections. And we also have match fields. For this exercise, we'll go with the match expressions option. So let's get into the CLI terminal where I've got a cluster, a Kubernetes cluster. So this is the master to which I'm logged into right now. Let's look at the number of nodes and the labels on them as well. Let's go ahead and use this label, which is unique for the purpose of this exercise. The kubernetes.io slash hostname label is what we are going to use. And we are now going to define a deployment using this. Okay, so this is what we have got. It is good to have some understanding of deployment to make the best use of this exercise. So I've got to replicas 100, so that's too much. So let me just go ahead and uh, give it a smaller number. I'm gonna edit the deployment manifest, and I'm gonna give something like uh, maybe 20. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna give it 20. Let me save it. And let me look at the configuration again. So we've got uh, so many things in it, but the most important thing, the specific thing that we are going to focus for this video is this one, the affinity section under which we've got no affinity and the required during scheduling ignored during execution option, which has got a uh, node selected terms inside it and the match expressions as usual. We, we should have used this in other exercises also. This means that this pod all the pods and this deployment is going to search for a node that matches with this expression, which is nothing but it is going to have the label key as kubernetes.io slash hostname. And the values is, is going to be one of the values that we define because we have used the operator in. And we are only going with one value here. We are not going with multiple values. We just say k8 is node zero, which means that the pod is going to prefer it is going to be there on node zero mandatorily. This is a hard requirement. This is not a soft requirement. So now let's go ahead and create the deployment. The deployment is created right now. And let's look at the status of it. Zero out of 20. It is taking some time. Okay, so this is an Nginx container inside the pod based on the spec that we gave. Yeah, now it is moving up. We have got 9, 10, 11. Yeah, it's going on. The number is increasing. Okay, it's done now. So we have got 20 out of 20. All the pods are launched. Now let's go ahead and look at the pod status and also see on which nodes these pods are launched. All of them are on node 0. So this is why we call it as a hard requirement. The pods are not going to choose any of them because we say this is what we need. We, we are telling it specifically and we are going to make this requirement hard. So it has to get launched on node zero, not the choice. Okay. If at all we wanted to see the count of it, we could uh, use the, we could just grep it first. Okay. So let's try to filter only node zero. Anyway, we only have node zero this time. So there's no other node. So we're going to get everything. Okay. So I think I have not used the O flag, which I have to use. Okay. Yes. Now it should all be working. And if at all, I had to grab it. I mean, and then I use the WC command to look at the number of lines. We get 20. So all the 20 lines, all the 20 parts are launched on node zero. So this is how the hard requirement, the hard preference of node affinity works. Now let's go ahead and do the cleanup. Delete the deploy. I think we have created 36. Yes, so this is what we have. We can look at the prefix of each of the pod and we come to know 
that the deployment's name is deploy 36. Deploy 36, yes. We have now, okay, we have to specify the object type also, which is nothing but deploy in short or deployment. We have deleted it. We shouldn't have anything now. It's cleaned up. It's terminating. All the ports are getting terminated. Okay, so a recap. In this video, we have seen how to use the node affinity section inside a pod spec. And in specific, we have seen how to give it a hard requirement, how to make sure that it gets launched on a node in specific, mandatorily, this is a hard requirement. And this is not kind of a preference wherein we say, you, you, you have not told it to be a soft preference, such as with the other case, there is a different video for soft preference too. Hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.